I think it's innovative because it's um, sustainable in, in different ways. It's a, a long-term thinking. Um, they, have, they find out about new ways of living together. They are creating stable neighborhoods for the future and they um, try to build houses differently, um, houses who can resist the climate change and um, I think also the stable networks that are um, established in this project um, are for the future very important for people living together in the city. And I think if there will be hopefully in future a network of different projects and this uh, movement becoming stronger, it could really make a change in how we live together. It's very important that land is removed from speculation, that this um, is a non-profit, these are non-profit organizations and this leads to long-term affordable rents and um, people have security um, so for a lifetime they can live um, and be sure that they can afford this living. One challenge is of course that there is a lot of global investment in our cities uh, and in Zurich as well. And how can we manage to build more projects? How can we have access to affordable land? And um, how can we grow? I think this is one of the biggest uh, challenges. I think people are in, involved in uh, taking decisions on how the projects look like. They discuss about how we want to live in the city together. Um, they, this is a benefit for the whole uh, quarter around. Often these projects have um, open or different ground uses that uh, also the neighborhood uh, can use or um, visit. And I think they, these projects or the people also really try to connect with the surroundings, with the quarter, um, and they they are inclusive, they are open to everyone, so even people who will be pushed out of the cities otherwise find a place to live and, and not only a place to live but also a place where they can feel responsible and uh, connect to, to each other. There are already the first small projects, um, for example La Borda in Barcelona is a new um, cooperative housing project that just opened. So I think it's not, uh, the challenges are different in other countries, the law is different, the conditions, but I think uh, the general idea of this uh, solidarity models of co-ownership, um, making a project and get people involved, I think this can be transferred very good to other countries.